Good morning, class. As I write this message, it is early on a Monday morning, and our class is now ready to get rolling. This is Anatomy and Physiology 2, our second course in the two-semester sequence. And the purpose of this, and I am Mr. Durst, your course instructor. The purpose of this video is to give you a bit of a heads up on how to navigate the class. So I want to start with the introductory content here for our class. Um, work through everything on this list. Click on every link. Make sure that you're able to work through all of this content. Um, the big things I want to emphasize to you is that you bookmark the course calendar. That gives you your roadmap to the class. I'll go ahead and click on that right here just to give it a little extra oomph for you. Hey, check it out. It's everything you need for the class in one handy dandy spreadsheet. Well, not everything, but most of the co content. Um, register for McGraw-Hill Connect. Uh, to register for McGraw-Hill Connect, I want to encourage you to click over here. Let me go ahead and annotate this. Let's go with green because green is my favorite color. Right over here, click that link in the corner. And if you click that link in the corner, you will not only be able to register for the course section in McGraw-Hill Connect, but you'll synchronize your accounts to each other so that you'll have automatically updating grades. Um, and then also you need to register for Visible Body. Visible Body is going to be our digital cadaver platform. So click this link right here. Uh, I have you guys signing up for a one year license. If you already have a license for Visible Body, maybe you've taken AMP1 with me already earlier this spring or earlier this summer, um, you still need to click the link, uh, but you don't need to buy an, another license. I'll go ahead and click the link right now. Just to get it slowly booting up here, here we go. This is our link, and um, really the content I want you guys to focus on here for Visible Body is going to be right over here. We go to My Apps, Human Anatomy Atlas right here is a great study tool, and another one is the Anatomy and Physiology app. This is something that I put uh, references on your lab objective sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and load that up right now. I'm at my home right now where I, I live in the boondocks. So my internet connection is as slow as molasses in January. Um, so it's going to take a bit to load. So while that's loading, I'm just going to go ahead and go back to Canvas here. Um, if you have any questions, your best place to post those questions is right here in the course discussions. I have it set up so that when you... Uh, I click that green little chevron on all of those so that if you post a discussion board question, I am going to get an email instantaneously whenever you post a discussion board question. Uh, even if you delete that question after you post it, I still get the question emailed to me. Um, so this is the preferred method for you to get questions to me because not only do you get a quick answer from me as your instructor, but you might find out that somebody else has already asked the question and you don't even need to bother posting. Yeah, we're still loading. That's going to be a while. It's probably going to take 10 minutes. Curses my slow internet. Um, when we talk about assignments, or when we look at, let's go back to the homepage here. As we're looking at the homepage, um, I have this class set up uh, in a very linear approach just because I have ADD and I can't operate unless I have a linear approach to my life. Uh, I'm a big fan of lists. That's how I made it through college. So to help you guys, I have lists for you. Lots of lists for you to work through. We have the student presentation, and then you have little video clips to work you through the student presentation. We have our lab objective sheet right here. So this is our week one lab objective sheet, the one that has been updated to reflect our current lab manual. Uh, and I want to emphasize here that only items listed on these weekly sheets are used and accepted on lab assessments. So in other words, if you come up, if like on your lab exam, if you say red blood cell instead of erythrocyte, I'm not going to accept it. So please use the correct terms, uh, the technical terms that we list on your lab objective sheets. You'll note that uh, if there is something with an asterisk on it, that means that you need to be able to recognize that structure or that's objective 
on a as a visible light micrograph or in other words be able to recognize it as a histology objective so here we can see monocyte lymphocyte basophil eosinophil neutrophil these these all have those asterisks next to them i could click the histology guide link over here slow still loading still loading oh yes the joys of country living oh it loaded all right anyways back to the histology guide link sorry i'm not going to pursue that tangent uh, and, uh, for this, where was I, where did my train of thought go? All right. Found my train of thought. Asterisk. So you can see how there's an asterisk, uh, click the links that I provide for digital histology. And then you can then be taken to a website that ha offers those views. So right here, I'll go ahead and zoom in on this guy right here. Hey, this is pretty cool. These little pink things are erythrocytes over here at the tip of my pointer. That's a platelet or thrombocyte. And then this big guy right here with the purple specules or purple granules in it, that's a basophil. Kind of a cool looking basophil. And then over here, right over here, we have one, two, three nuclei, very slight colored or a three lobe nuclei. Uh, this is a neutrophil over here, but I digress. I'm not going to go over all of our lab objectives. Um, that's not the purpose of this video. I'm kind of a histology geek. I really like histology. Uh, let's go back to our lab objective sheet. Right here it says visible body A and P 28.1, 28.8. So if you load the visible body anatomy and physiology app, it's right here, 28.1. Here's blood is right there. And of course, it's loading really slowly because, well, that's my internet connection. Anatomy Atlas is still loading. I might just end up not showing you how it looks in this video just because uh, of how slow it is. Tip, I'm making a recording. Shh, get out of here. Uh, let's take a look here. We also have... So um, if you are looking for um, a more of a private question for me, maybe you have a question that uh, you have for me that you don't want to share with everybody else, shoot me an email. My email is listed in the syllabus. So if we go right here to introductory content. We have do, 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 syllabus, syllabus. There we go. Oh. That is an old link. We need to fix that link. Let's go to the course calendar. Here we go. This will take us to the current syllabus. Too many hyperlinks in my life. Summer 22, there we go. So my course email or my instructor email is right here. Please don't call me. I'm not in my office over the summer. If you do call me, you'll leave a voicemail. The voicemail will get emailed to me. I'll get to it eventually, but it's quicker to just email me. Um, in terms of key dates, this class is going to be done on August 6th. You can withdraw with no uh, fee uh, through July 13th. You can withdraw through July 26th to get a W. And the final exam is Friday, August 6th. Excuse me, August 5th. I need to update that. Let me double check my course calendar right here. August 5th. Course is done August 5th. There we go. Um, this is your standard syllabus, super generic, super blah. I do want to talk about uh, your environment video. Uh, please uh, read through this section on proctoring of Canvas exams. Uh, when you're doing your environment video checks, I made a video showing you how to make your environment video checks. Um, I take this pretty seriously. I don't want people that, to compromise the integrity of their examinations. Um, if you don't follow the directions, you're going to lose 25% um, off your exam score right off the top. So please make sure that you... Uh, read through the procedure on how to do your environment check videos. I don't like sending out those nasty grams. Um, if something happens, uh, maybe during the exam, something happens to you where you just like, yeah, you feel sick and you just can't continue taking the exam, just hit submit. 
Um, so the best thing to do is just enter the exam, hit submit, and uh, then email me right away and we'll work through it. Uh, if you uh, look, uh, walk away from the exam during the middle of the exam and then come back and start answering questions, that's a big no-go. Please do not do that. That looks really bad. Uh, we have our grading scale right here. I have a pretty lenient grading scale in terms of I, I, that I, instead of bringing an A at a 94, I made it down to a 92. And then for a C, it's all the way down to a 71 instead of a 74. Um, just because I want to acknowledge that this class is a little bit tougher. Here we go. Back to uh, our anatomy and physiology app, Invisible Body. You can see chapter 28.1 from our lab objectives that I referenced in our lab objectives suite loaded. So we can see um, just that A and P app with Invisible Body. One of the things that I like about this app is that you have the digital cadavers or the these dissected, prosected cadavers that we can work through. Um, in the Visible Body app, it has finally loaded the AMP Atlas app. It only took what? Uh, looks like it took about uh, seven minutes for it to load. And we're in blood vessels right now and the heart. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the heart right here. And we can now see our heart structure. You can click on structures and work through the lab objectives. I want to emphasize to you that not absolutely everything in this app, this uh, digital dissection app, is going to have the same terminology as your lab objective sheet. Your lab objective sheet trumps this app. So make sure that you focus on the terms that we list on the lab objective sheet. Uh, something that's very helpful is we have systems views where you can click on things like respiratory system, or you can add the urinary system and reproductive. You could add the endocrine systems or the skeletal systems. Uh, it's one way to quickly add or subtract items from your views. We also have the breadcrumb over here. So if I click on, let's say the right atrium, but I'm really interested in the heart, or maybe I'm really interested in the circulatory system. This ways of, ch they're just ways of changing the view. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that right there. Oh, redo. Uh, also, if you're just completely stumped in uh, the Anatomy Atlas app, you can go to Anatomy Search and type in the structure. Maybe you're looking for the thyroid gland and you're, of course, the thyroid gland isn't going to be visible because it's the heart. So actually, let's go with the heart structure. Let's say you're looking for a aortic valve right here. Uh, click show me. And now we can see the aortic valve highlighted in teal. Or maybe you're looking for a structure that's not visible like the thyroid gland. In which case you would just go ahead and type in thyroid and I clicked add and uh, I need to zoom out now. And now I can see, hey, I added a thyroid gland up there on the top. Not that I need it for this unit, but hey, it's there. So those are some of the uh, essential functions within the Visible Body A&P app. You're also going to be, or Atlas app. I also want you to spend a good amount of time on the microanatomy section. Uh, there's some really good stuff here within the microanatomy section. So... As we look at these structures, we have structures of a blood vessel. This is going to help you to learn the structures of the blood vessels and is going to be applicable to your very first lab objective sheet for week one content. And uh, at this point, the video is getting, we're nearing the 15 minute mark, so I'm going to wrap up things on this video. I want to emphasize class that this, it, this um, course is a blast. There's lots of great content in this class for us to cover. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to shoot me an email or post them on the class discussion boards and have a, just a great time working through this course. If you have uh, need help, I'm here for you. Happy studies.